Welcome back to the Screensavers. This is so cool. Recently, the Screensavers was invited to attend, just happened the other day, the annual robot sumo wrestling competition in San Francisco. We asked Martin Sargent to be our uh, surrogate sumo wrestler, and you've got the girth for it. 14% body fat, but that's another story entirely. We'll get that next week. We'll that's next week. So what is robot? I know what sumo wrestling is. That's when they, right. in J Japan, well, that's the number one sport, the right? The ancient art of sumo wrestling has a very complex culture and system of rules. From what I can tell, robot sumo wrestling does not. <laughs> Essentially what happens is these people build these really complex robots and then put them in a ring yeah. and then battle them off. And the first one that gets pushed out of the ring is the loser. In, ja in, in real person sumo wrestling, you've got these really fat guys who are doing the same thing. They're trying to push each other out of this circle, right? Yes. So it's, it's the same idea? The robots are trying to... Whoever Essentially gets it's the exact same idea. But instead of you know, spending a lifetime eating... You spend a lifetime building these extremely complex robots. Take a look. We've got some great tape here. Marty and the robots. Really? We're here at the International Sumo Robot Competition, and you, Carlo, are America's greatest hope of bringing home the prize. Is that correct? I don't know about that. The Japanese robots are much more advanced than the American robots. Why are the Japanese robots so much more advanced? They've got something like 4,000 robots over in Japan. They've gone through a whole elimination contest to, to narrow it down to the, just a few very best ones, and that's what we have here today. They have a high vacuum to hold them down to the ring, give them a lot of traction, and they also have razor edges to get underneath the other robots. I mean, actual razors. Do you sort of feel the, the weight of the United States of America on your shoulders? No, not really. Still, man. Come on. I'll take you on. How about 10? was not faking that, by the way. That is, those things push like the devil. Ladies and gentlemen, with us right now, David Calkins, who is uh, the host of the Robot Sumo Wrestling Competition. We've had you before, David. You're with, you're the president of the uh, Robot Sex, Robotics Society of America, am I right? Exactly. Okay. This is really neat. How powerful are these robots? Marty was really pushing. Uh, they vary by design. Um, what they have, uh, this is the Beast, who is the reigning U.S. champion. Um, you can see down here we have a vacuum. Yeah, this is to hold it down, right? This is to hold it down. So it creates a, it, a suction in the A effect. suction, exactly. Now, some of these, including the Japanese competitors, they've actually run them upside down on, on flat ceilings because the vacuums are so Wow. Strong. This has tank-style treads, but they're <laughs> rubber to really grip. Really grip. This is an amazing... The blade is actually sharpened right. because it's going to get underneath, that's, right? That's always that's the goal, the, yeah. That's you the idea. See a couple of them flopping over each other. Now, the now this isn't like BattleBots. These aren't remote-controlled. These are autonomous? These are autonomous. Here you can actually see the programming link. Uh, this is not actually to uh, dial up RJ the Internet. RJ45, so they'll plug uh -huh. in their computer at a serial port there. Exactly. And this is this one, I'm told, is coded in assembly language. Somebody really took a lot yeah. of time the, to write a program for a smart robot. This underneath here, these are sensors, aren't they, for the white line? It's looking Correct. for the, they, the they, white line. It looks for the white line um, so it knows when it's being pushed out. And that's how and it stays it, inside the circle, exactly. obviously. Pretty amazing stuff. I mean, uh, this is NICAD battery powered. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's got some pretty intense servos. This has got to be the state of the art of robotics right now. Uh, this is actually about five years behind the power curve. In terms no. Of sumo. Uh, the Japanese are way ahead of us. The Japanese are so far ahead of us. Uh, Fuji comes every year. Um, they give us a lot of money to host these competitions, yeah. uh, including $2,500 per, uh, per winner. Oh, that's a nice price. It's a very nice Of course, price. they probably spend tens of thousands building it. Uh, the Japanese guys uh, are the best in the world. Uh, every year, there's about 4,500 competitors uh, in Japan. 
uh, the top ten come here to compete against us. So we're seeing the very best of their uh, crop. Exactly. The, How did we do this year? Uh, Carlo, who's the reigning U.S. champ, and this is his, his beast, the beast, um, he did real well. Um, he won, uh, it was only three rounds of competition, yeah. tree structure. Uh, he won the first round. He was this close to make it in the finals, in semifinals. Oh. Um, and he just he just lost. Was he the one that we saw that amazing flip where they, they went yeah, right uh -huh. on? That was an amazing. So it's a good boy, Carlo. <laughs> I mean, that is an amazing move. Can people get involved in this? How if I if, I know there are kids watching, uh, their their dads watching, and moms watching want to do this with their kids. How can they get involved? Uh, it's very easy. Now this is a little bit more complicated. This is, this is about obviously five thousand dollars. Very sophisticated. Position. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there are kits you can buy for under one hundred dollars, which will allow you to do what's called mini sumo. This is 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, yeah. uh, but mini sumo is uh, one quarter of that, 10 oh, centimeters so by fun. 10 centimeters. Uh, you can get involved for under $100 right. uh, at the Robotic Society of America. We teach kids um, and adults. You know what I like about this? They're autonomous. This isn't radio controlled. Right. This is really programming technology. This is magnesium, titanium. This is not, it's material science, it's engineering, but it's also computer science. I think it's a wonderful sport. I'm very excited. Are you going to have more competitions in the States? Uh, we're going to have another one in October. Where will um, that be? And I'll be here at the Exploratorium. In San, in San Francisco, Francisco, California. Mm -hmm. And we will publicize that. Going heavily. There. We're going there. We're going to do it from there. All I right, understand that's great. you're going to be the host this year. And I understand I'm going to be the host. That'll be fun. I will be. David, I thank, thank you very, very much. much. Very exciting.